Hi, my name is Jason Matthew from Weekend EduTech, and today we are going to look at one of my favorite features in Articulate Ride 360, the label graphic. So let's get straight into it, guys. So I'm in my Articulate Rise 360 account. And if you have been following my video series on Rise 360, you will know that we have created the Biochem 101 course. So I'm going to click on that course now. And as the course opens up, you see that there are two sections so far, the introduction section and the cell section. And within those sections, there are lessons. So in today's class, I'm going to create a new lesson I'm going to just call it animal cell and then I'm going to click enter or return depending on the type of keyboard you have and then I'm going to click on add content to add content for that animal cell lesson and I'm going to choose lesson I'm going to choose label graphic from the toolbar so you can see there's label graphic there I'm going to click on that and Riot 360 is going to generate a placeholder image with two hotspots or markers there on the image. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the edit button and on the far left there. If you're not seeing the edit button, then hover over the placeholder image. Um, but once you see the edit button, you click on it and then you scroll below the image and there's another edit button that you could click on. When you click on this edit button, you have a few options. The first option is they say here is upload image. So that is where you can upload an image straight from your computer onto Rise 360. The other option is search content library. So this is where you search Rise 360 um, stock photos to find one that could suit your needs. For this example, I'm going to search content library. I'm going to choose that option. And in the search, I'm going to search for animal cell and I'm not looking for a photo I'm looking for an illustration so I'm going to choose illustration so I get a few options and the one I'm going to choose I'm going to choose this one so just a point to note this is for demo purposes only there are much higher fidelity illustrations of the animal cell out there that you would want to use so as I said before Rise360 gives you by default two hotspots or what they call markers and you can click hold and drag the marker to anywhere on the image that you like so I'm going to move one here and the other one is going to click hold and drag and move it there now if I need to add more markers I just need to click anywhere on the image and a new marker will form so let's say I wanted to put one here on this side here I could click there or I can click anywhere on this on your cell to make more markers or I, I, I should say anywhere on the image if once you click on any one image more markers will be formed now once you're ready to edit a marker so I, let's say I want to click on this one I can double click you see it's highlighted black so I know it is in this region here and this marker is close by the mitochondrion and if you were looking at my previous videos, you know we were dealing with the mitochondrion, which is the powerhouse of the cell, it gives the cell energy. Uh, mitochondrion is the singular form of mitochondria of the word mitochondria. So that is my little biology hat there for a second. Let's go back to the instructional design of things. So I have named the marker, and again it's this one highlighted in black here as mitochondrion and I could just bring it a little closer to the organelle mitochondria in there. Now there, if you look in the box there's um, some placeholder text there so you could just highlight that and delete it and what you want to do is enter description for whatever you are signaling the learner to look at. So in this case is, is the mitochondrion so you could give some information about mitochondria here all right so you would put your text that gives the information there now for marker style if you click on that you see there are a few different ways in which the marker can be represented right now it's a plus within a circle which suits the needs 
But look at this other one. This is another popular one. And you can see where this would be great for like if your image is a map and you have to show locations and stuff. So choose whatever marker works for you for your project. So in this case, for me, I'll, I'll return to the plus sign with the circle and that, that works fine for me. Now the next thing you can do is that you can add additional media. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on that and it gives me three options. I can either upload media directly from my computer or I can search the articulate content library to get a stock photo there or I can embed a link from the web. Now know that if you are uploading media files directly to the RISE module, it's going to increase the size of the RISE file significantly. Okay, so let's remember that. So what I would do is that I will actually add a link from the web. So I click the third option, which is embed from the web. So it's prompting me to paste a URL or iframe code here. So I'll go to YouTube and I already have a, vid, a YouTube video on the cell. So I click on share. That will give me the link. I click copy. So it copies the link to the clipboard. I return to my Rise 360 module. On the media, I just paste in the link there. So I click Command V if I'm using a Mac or Control V if you're using Windows. And once the link is pasted, you click enter or return depending on your keyboard. All right, so the, the, the YouTube video link has been uploaded. If you're not happy with that link at any time, you can return and click on the edit option there that's on the right hand side. And you can go to the different options here. You can remove the link if you want or you can replace it with a new link and all these things. You can replace it with media from your computer or replace it from the stock library. So you have all these options here. And the final thing you can do is that you can record audio. So if I click on the microphone icon, there are two options. If I click start recording, you might be prompted, if this is the first time you're going to be doing this, you most likely will be prompted to change some of your computer settings so that Rise can access your computer's mic. So you can go ahead and, and allow that. And what that would do is that once you click start recording, the Rise is going to record your voice through your computer's mic and upload that for the module. Just note that you will not be able to edit the audio file in Rise. So I recommend creating a script to minimize the mistakes you can make, as well as it makes the recording cover exactly what you want to say in a concise manner. Alternatively, you might want to create the audio file using a free audio software such as Audacity. This way you can edit the audio file in Audacity and then upload it in Rise. So you have those two options. So for this example, I'm going to record straight from the mic on my computer. So I click start recording. Now, if you wanted to do the, go through the route of, of doing it through Audacity, then once you um, get the file as an MP3, you can then click upload the file and it will, you'll be able to upload the file. But in this case, as I said, I'm just going to record from the mic just for this demo purpose. So as you can see, the timer has started and if I start speaking, it's going to start recording my voice. And once I'm finished with it, I can click stop recording. And there you go. You have the audio file recorded. Now, if, if you can click on the play icon here and you can play the audio file just to make sure that it's up to what is exactly what you want. If it's not what you want, then you can click on the trash can on the right hand side and that will delete the audio file and then you can record a new one. So if you want, you can just click on the trash can to remove it and then you can click start recording once again and you can record a new audio file. So let's recap. For the marker, I gave it a title. I also gave it some background information about whatever I'm trying to describe to the learner. I also provided additional information via media and I also recorded audio as well. So let's see how that looks. So I'm going to click on close and then I'm going to click preview. 
So you see there's the animal cell there and let's click on the plus marker there next to mitochondrion because that's the one we did. And as you can see, it has the audio file there. It has the YouTube video that we uploaded and then it had the text that we type in for the description. Of course, yours will be much more detailed than that. that this was just for a demo purpose. So this is how the learner sees it. So let's return, let's go to, let's click edit again so we could do some more editing. All right, so, you, you, so you, you click the edit button on the right hand side. If you're not seeing the edit button, let's hover, hover over the image. So you click on edit and let's see this one. Let's double click on it. For the title, I'm just gonna call it rough ER. All right. And I will leave the other stuff blank for now. So you see rough ER is coming up and then I'm going to click on this one and I'm going to call it the Golgi Apparatus. And what I, what I would have done is go to the different steps, just like how I did in mitochondria, and I would have go to the different steps, add a description, add some media, add some audio. All right, and then I go return to my markers. Now item four, which is this, this marker here, I, I don't want to use that marker anymore. So the easiest way to remove that marker is just to hover over item for in this case and just click on the trash can and it removes that marker or if i wanted the marker back i just have to click on the image and the marker comes back again so it's just that easy so you can add as much markers as you want and you could remove as much markers as you like as well so i hope that you see how powerful this feature is in ride 360 especially if you have a lot of diagrams or you have maps or you have images that you want to explain but you don't want to overwhelm the learner with a whole set of text on the lab on the image itself you can go the route of a label graphic which i think is so awesome so please give it a try let me know in the comments how you used it or if you can send some screenshots that would be excellent so looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with please visit our weekend edutech channel to view our other videos on RISE 360 and other educational technologies. Please support us by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. Thank you for viewing. Stay safe. Talk to you soon. Bye.